Hey YouTube, Motor Missile over here, coming at you with another knife review today. Uh, I'm very excited to finally get my Spyderco Sage 2. Uh, this knife is by Spyderco, and the Sage series is a uh, line of knives that pays tribute to various innovators of different locking mechanisms. Um, the first one they did was the Sage 1, and that pays tribute to Michael Walker's uh, liner lock. And uh, a liner lock is just simply a uh, uh, steel lining uh, within the, the handle scales here that comes over much like a frame lock. Get you better lighting here. Uh, comes over much like a frame lock and tucks away much similar to this one uh, underneath the blade. Alright, um, and this is the Spyderco Sage 2, which pays tribute to um, Chris Reeves and his uh, integral uh, frame lock, which is uh, showcased right here. A um, couple things about this knife, it has an excellent wire clip, uh, looks a little bit flimsy, I know, but it is a great, great uh, pocket clip. It sits deep in your pocket. Um, and it doesn't hide uh, the, the locking mechanism, which is uh, a big part of this knife. I mean, the whole point of this knife is to uh, pay tribute to Chris Reeves and his Sebenza. And, and um, it's uh, similar to a Sebenza as far as uh, it is a frame lock, it is titanium handles, and it is a S30V steel. And uh, as far as blade steel goes, the S30V is true for Sage uh, 1, 2, and 3. Um, which uh, the first Sage has a um, carbon fiber handle scales and um, the Sage 3 has a uh, blue G10 scales and uh, the Sage 3 pays homage to uh, Blackie Collins which uh, is a bolt action arc that, that can be found here. I don't have a Sage uh, 1 or 3 to show you guys but a few, a few guys out there do uh, none fancy reviews this knife with the other two in the background and you know, I mean, he, he's just a, he just does a pro job, can't compete with that, but um, anyway, uh, my wife got me this knife for Christmas, so I just got it, thank you baby, I love you, um, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of experience with this, I was even worried that it might be counterfeit, uh, but I don't know, I'll let you guys be the judge, I don't think it's a counterfeit knife, uh, all the materials seem pretty high quality and uh, see if I can get some better light on this and all the uh, lettering and everything looks right to me so I don't think uh, even though this was an eBay purchase uh, she paid roughly about 135 for this knife and you can find it anywhere from that price range to 200 plus um, I highly highly recommend it I've been carrying it for like two or three days now um, it comes really sharp out of the box and I'll try to do this without blocking the light here. And uh, this isn't doing it much justice here, but it cuts just super, super well. Let me see. I mean, there's no effort in that. The paper is getting a clean cut. It's not a fibrous cut. Um, the finger hole is a half inch, uh, the blade itself is a three inch blade, I think the whole knife weighs 3.5 ounces, um, the overall length of the knife is seven inches uh, in length with the open blade and just four inches with the closed blade. Um, I don't have any complaints about this knife, in some reviews I watched, uh, which there are a lot of reviews on this knife. Uh, people complain about the jimping. There's jimping here on the spine of the blade and also in the finger finger choil. Um, and it's pretty good. I mean you can see here I'm pressing down fairly hard and it's not I mean it's not sliding. Um, yeah so it's pretty sharp in my opinion. Um, I don't really have any any other spider codes or any even frame lock knives to compare this to. This is my first um, first time with a folder that has you know the CPM S30V steel and titanium handles and a frame lock, which um, you know I mean this has been referred to as a poor man's Sebenza, and I'll I mean I don't think if you can afford a hundred plus dollar knife you're poor at all. Um, but it's a full flat ground. I don't know if that's gonna show up real well on the, I'm just using my phone here. 
Um, full flat ground, which is a great, great grind. I love that. Um, as you can see on the titanium handles, the uh, screws are recessed in uh, all the way down, except uh, with the exception of the very last screw. That one protrudes a little bit, which uh, the two two bottom ends of the uh, wire clip get tucked underneath the uh, head of that screw. So, and I'll show you how it comes over. A uh, very comfortable ergonomic knife. Um, I don't have a lot of space here, but it's pretty easy to open up with one hand. Alright, uh, I heard somebody complain about the sound of the lockup, and it makes a pretty nice click to me. You know, I, I mean, I've never owned a Bradley Alias or a Sabenza, which I would compare this knife to. I think it, you know, uh, that, uh, they say that those knives sound better when you open them up. But this knife, I mean, I don't, I don't have any problems with the noise it makes opening up. Uh, it's got fairly thick scales, titanium scales, a fairly thick uh, stop bar right here. Um, the overall craftsmanship of this knife is just excellent. And like I said, it comes out of the box just absolutely razor sharp. And uh, I mean, I highly recommend it to anybody who's considering this knife for everyday EDC. Or your, I mean, this is an all-purpose knife to me. You can use it in a def defensive situation or just everyday, everyday you know, whittling and opening plastic packages, which is what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, I guess this is a, a limited run of knives, so it's it's readily available everywhere right now, but I don't know how long that's going to last. I've, I've never had a Spyderco knife before. This is my first experience with one, and um, it's pretty decent. This is the box it came in. It just came in uh, in this plastic packaging here. And I came with a little piece of paper explaining uh, the different uh, sages and, and the people they're honoring. Um, you know, I wish more knife companies did that. I would like to see maybe the Sage 4B, um, and I don't know who the inventor of the triad lock is, you know, Cold Steel's triad lock they use, but maybe they'll make a, a, a similar folder highlighting the innovator of that locking mechanism. That would be cool. And uh, I'll just give you guys a couple more little shots. Um, I don't know if I left out anything. Please feel free to ask questions or leave comments. Um, I know this isn't the greatest review and there's a whole bunch out there, but you know, this is more or less just a hobby of mine than anything else. So um, Sage 2 by, by Spyderco, highly recommend it. Highly, I mean, it's just a a, a handsome knife. Uh, the looks of it, the design of it, it's just all very smooth and neat. All right, guys, and uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what the next knife I'll be getting is gonna be. You know, I've been wanting to make uh, an EDC video, so maybe I'll do one of those here soon. But till then, you guys have a happy new year, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.